Hi everyone, it's Nicole Shepner coming to you from Genesis Rock Road in Wichita, Kansas. We're giving you today a daily practice uh, yoga flow where you can plug this workout in anywhere in your routine at any point during the day and at any point during the week. Uh, what you'll need today is a mat or just a hard surface to work on. Also, if you have access to yoga blocks, uh, we will be using those if you don't have yoga blocks, you can use a thick book or even a chair to help you modify some of these poses. This is a class for anyone and everyone, and I hope that you will enjoy. We'll get started. To begin in a comfortable seated position, find a position where you're able to have your shoulders rest on top of the hips, the ears rest on top of the shoulders, and the chin soften away from the chest. You can begin by closing the eyes down here. Breathing in through the nose, feel how the chest expands and lifts. And as you exhale, feel how the front of your chest softens away from the face and slides down. Do two more like that. Breathing in, feel the sides of the chest, the sides of the waist expand and lift. Exhaling, feeling that space soften down and release. One more time, smooth breath in. Smooth breath out. Blinking the eyes open. On your next breath in, sweep the arms up, look up toward the hands. Exhale to bring the hands down to Two more like that, sinking it with the breath. Smooth breath in, arms sweep up as they lift, you look up, and then as they soften, you release the air, the hands come down toward the chest. One more time, smooth breath in, looking up, opening up through the shoulders. Exhale, the hands come down toward the heart, the shoulders, the arms release. From here, taking your hand beside you on the mat, reach your right arm over. You can look toward the left hand or look underneath the right arm, letting the side of the head and the neck soften. Breathing in here, feel the right side of the body open and expand. Allow the air to release fully. And then bend the elbow, bring the shoulders upright. Full breath in, arms sweep up, you look up. Hands come down toward the Coming to the other side, right hand comes beside you, left arm reaches over, either looking toward the right hip or looking underneath the left arm, taking a full breath in here, allowing the air to release completely, bending the elbows, the shoulders come up, smooth breath in, arms sweep up, exhale, hands come down toward the begin to twist, reach both legs forward. You'll start by taking your left leg across, sole of the left foot comes toward the mat, left hand comes behind you, right arm wraps around. Either looking toward the wall in front of you or looking over the back shoulder. Think of reaching your right shoulder toward the front of the mat, pulling the left shoulder back, twisting here. Unwind, come back to center, cross the legs so the left leg is in front, and then walk the hands forward, letting the head release down, looking either back toward the thighs or the abdomen, the head and the neck soften. Shoulders soften down toward the mat. Feel the back of the body expand as you breathe. Walk the hands back toward you. Straighten both legs again. This time your right leg comes across, the sole of the foot comes to the mat, left arm holds, right hand comes behind. So you can either look toward the wall in front of you or look over the back shoulder. Reaching the left shoulder, the left arm toward the front of the mat. Right shoulder pulls back. Full breath here. Unwind to come back to center. This time the right leg crosses in front of the left 
and the hands walk in front, releasing through the hips, letting the low back soften, in front of the chest releases away from the face. Feeling the back expand and lift as you breathe. Allowing the air to release completely. Walking the hands upright. Good. Last time here, sweeping the arms up, looking up, feel the difference as you breathe in. Hands come down toward the heart. All right, let's cross over the legs, coming onto hands and knees in tabletop position. Palms are underneath the shoulders, fingers are spread, you can get all of the knuckles on the mat, elbows straight. We have one round of cat cow. You're letting the abdomen and the chest drop down toward the mat, looking forward as you breathe in. Exhale, round the back and look toward the thighs as you reach your spine up. Good, find your neutral spine. Step one foot back and then the other to plank. Lifting the hips, downward facing dogs. So this is our first down dog. You're letting the feet settle. Knees do not have to be straight like mine. If your hamstrings are a bit tight, you can bend to the knees, keeping the heels lifted. Looking back toward the shins, take another breath here. And then let the knees lower down. I'll have you all come into a child's pose, bring the knees wide, big toes together, sitting back toward the heels. Forehead can soften toward the mat, or you can make a fist, let your forehead rest on the fist. So I want you all to stay here as I readjust. And we'll go through that same flow a couple more times, getting the body warmed up and ready. Okay, all right, back to hands and knees, tabletop position. Looking between the hands and the neck is long. Breathe in, looking forward, abdomen and chest sink down toward the mat. Exhale to round the back and look toward the thighs as you reach the spine up. Then find a neutral spine so you're back at your starting point. Step one foot back and the other to plank. Lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. And the emphasis here is not on straightening the legs or getting the heels toward the mat. You're creating an upside down V in the torso and the hips. So if the hamstrings are tight, if it's hard for you to settle the heels down, keep the heels lifted, bend to the knees. Think about sending your sitting bones up, reaching through the arms, looking back to either the shins or the legs so that the neck can relax. One more breath here. So, all right, last time like this, shift forward, lower the knees down. Go ahead and come into a child's pose again, just to keep things even, sitting back toward the heels, knees are wide, hands reach forward, forehead rests down onto the mat. Let the abdomen soften toward the legs. Take a breath here. Allow the air to release completely. And shifting forward, finding your way back, hands and knees. Palms are down on the mat, all of the knuckles are pressing down. Again, our cat cow, inhale, abdomen, chest drop down toward the mat, look forward. Exhale, round the back, look toward the thighs, reach the spine up. Find your neutral spine, looking toward the hands, step one foot back, the other plank position. Lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Let's take three breaths here. We'll start flowing from this position. So resting in your down dog, you can bend your right knee, reach through your left heel to stretch into the calf. And bending the left knee, reaching through your right heel. Trying to keep the hip centered. And one more time each side. We need to pick up the pace just a little bit. And then settling into your position, taking one more round of breath here, full breath in, full breath out. As you're ready, bending the knees, walk the feet to meet the hands, top of the mat, and take as many steps as you need. From here, the knees can be bent, so you can take the hands to the shins to lengthen the spine, find your flat back. Fold forward, abdomen to thighs to release, hands can stay on the legs. And find your flat back, lengthen the spine, full breath in. Walk the hands up the legs, bring your shoulders upright, take a breath here, sweep both arms up. 
Exhale, the hands come down toward the heart. Let the hands rest beside you here for a moment. Notice the difference in the body as you stand tall. Feeling in the chest, the torso, the legs. And then taking a full breath in, arms sweep up, look up. Exhale to fold, arms sweep back where they can walk down the legs for support. Take a breath in here, find your flat back hands are either on the floor or the legs. Fold forward, step back, plank pose. Looking between the hands, the legs are active to help take weight off of the shoulders. Shift forward, lower yourself all the way down onto the mat. Toes are going back, hands beside you. Elbows reach back, cobra pose. Take a breath in here. Just lifting to your comfort. Lower down on the exhale. Good. Press up hands and knees, tabletop. Curl the toes, lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Let the head hang between the upper arms. Find some space along the sides of the neck. All right, keeping the hips high, step both feet so they touch. Reach the left leg, oops, sorry, right leg up, three-legged dog. Step the right foot forward to the hands. You can lower the back knee and help your hands bring your foot forward. Hands under the top of the thigh so you can roll your shoulders back, get tall. And breathe in here, arms sweep up, lengthening through the sides of the waist. Finding the balance, finding the ease and the effort in this moment. Slowly lower the hands down. We'll twist from here. Your right hand will come to the top of the thigh. Left hand can come down to the mat, or this is where you can use one of those blocks if this is a bit challenging for you right now. Right foot will walk over to the side just slightly. Chest turns toward the right leg. Right arm reaches up. Either looking to wall in front of you or up toward that top hand. Taking a breath in here. Unwind, find your way back to plank pose. You can do that by bringing the hand down, stepping the knee back, and then curling the toes for plank. We'll lower all the way down from here. Tops of the feet, toes reach back, cobra pose, breathing in. Lowering down the exhale. Pressing up hands and knees for your tabletop. Toes curl, hips lift up and back, downward facing dog. Resetting, observing the difference here on this round. And the feet will step so that they touch. Left leg reaches up, three-legged dog, keeping the hips high. Step the left foot to the hands, your right knee lowers, so again, you can use the hand to help ease the foot forward. Hands can come to the top of the thigh, so you can roll the shoulders back, you're lifting your chest away from the leg, and slunge, arms will reach up as you're ready. So if this is challenging for the balance, instead of looking up toward the hands, you can look toward the wall in front of you. You can also be here if that's a little bit easier on the back. Find where you need to be today. Take another full round of breath. And slowly lower the hands down. So come into this twist on the other side. Your left hand comes to the thigh. Right hand comes down to the mat or that block if you need it. Turning toward the left leg. Rolling the shoulders open. The hand can stay on the leg or the left arm can reach up. Either looking toward the wall in front of you or up at that top. Finding space as you rotate. Taking another full round of breath here. And then finding your way to plank pose. So again, you can do that through your hands and knees position or curl the toes plank. Lowering all the way down. Cobra pose, you can begin to ease yourself a bit higher if that feels okay in the back. And lower down as you're ready. Hands and knees or plank pose if you want to step it up a bit. Downward facing dog, hips lift, head releases. Full round of breath here, full breath in. Full breath out. As you're ready, 
bending the knees, walking or hopping the feet to the hands, your choice. Finding your flat back on the breath in, folding forward to release. As you're ready, arms sweep, look forward, look up into your eyes, big breath in. Hands come down toward the heart. All right, glad on big toes together. A little bit of space in the heels. Bend the knees, arms sweep around for a chair pose. Palms face one another. Sitting back, making sure you can still see the tips of the toes past the knees. Long through the sides of the waist. One more breath here. Exhale, fold abdomen to thighs to release. Full breath in, find your flat back, your flow, your vinyasa. Stepping back to plank, lowering chaturanga all the way down. So I'll be going all the way down on these. Your back bend, cobra, or upward facing dog, if you're doing your vinyasa. And we'll all be back downward facing dog as you're ready. Resetting, we'll add from here. Feet step together. Right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Right foot steps to the hands, left knee lowers. Take your time, find your foundation, arms will reach as you're ready. Lengthen through the sides of the body, the legs are strong. From here, we'll take the hands down, interlace the hands behind the back to open up the shoulders. So you can just stay here, holding on to the knuckles, reaching the elbows back. And take it a little bit further, knuckles reach, chest rolls open. Slowly unwind the arms, take a breath in, reach both arms up. We'll come back to that twist. You can take it a bit further on this one, right hand to the thigh, left fingertips to the mat, curling the back toes, back knee lifts, rotating toward the wall, right arm stacks on top of the left. Keep the left leg strong, you're reaching through the heel. Legs are active, they're helping to hold you up. One more breath. And unwind, find your way to plank. Your flow, your vinyasa to downward facing dog, taking the version that works for you. Meet back downward facing dog, staying with the breath. Taking your time, resetting in between. Feet step together. Left leg reaches, right like a dog. Left foot steps to the hands, right knee lowers. Taking your time, finding your way upright, setting your foundation. Settling in here, seeing how this turn, the side feels. Interlacing the hands behind the back, take the awkward clasp. So maybe the other finger goes in front here. Elbows can reach back, your arms can straighten, chest curls open. Releasing the hands, arms sweep up, full breath in. Coming back to that twist, left hand to the thigh, right fingertips to the mat. Back knee can stay down or the toes can curl, turning toward the left side of the room. Left arm reaches. If you're looking toward the wall in front of you or up at that top hand. Strong in the lower half of the body. Legs are helping the shoulders. One more breath. Unwind. Find your way to plank. Your flow to downward facing dog. Take the back bend that works for you today. Lift to the height that feels comfortable. Meet back downward facing dog. Toes curl, hips lift up and back. Settle the hands, settle the feet. Take a breath here. And shift forward, lower the knees down to the mat. Bring the knees apart, big toes come together, sit back toward the heels for child's pose. Keep the forehead release down toward the mat. Take a breath here. Observe and notice. Move forward, hands and knees. Curl the 
the toes, lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Finding that upside down knee and the torso, the wrist, shoulders, hips are on this diagonal line. Bending the knees, walking or hopping the feet to meet the hands, top of the mat. Take a breath in here, find your flat back, fold forward to release. Breathe in, arms sweep as you rise them all the way up. Next, hands come down toward the heart. All right, for this next one, this is where you may need those blocks or the uh, textbooks, the chairs, whatever you might be using in your home. We'll grab, feel free to grab a drink as I am doing in this. We'll start with warrior two. Um, I'll, I'm actually starting with my left leg forward, changing it up a little bit. Left foot steps forward, right foot steps back. The back leg is straight, toes are at a little bit of an angle. When you look at your front leg, it's centered, oh, the knee is centered over the ankle, so you can see your big toe on the inside of the knee. Arms reach out beside you, looking over the front fingertips, pressing through the outside of your back foot, like you're going to stretch the back edge of the mat away from you. Settling the shoulders down, another breath here. You're lowering the back hand, you'll flip your left palm to reverse, big breath in. Extended side angle, so the front knee stays bent. You can take your elbow to the top of the thigh as you turn your shoulders toward the wall, or you can use that block on the outside of the foot to help support the hand. Take the version that you need today, the top arm will reach if that feels okay on the shoulders, the neck. Finding a comfortable spot to look with the eyes, either toward the foot that's in front of you, toward the wall, or up at that top hand. Another full breath here. Excellent job. Take the hand to the hip, slowly pivot. Find your way to plank. This is where we get to add a little bit of shoulder work in. You're taking your left leg over the right. One tricep push-up or chaturanga. Straighten the arms, press the left leg up and back, three-legged dog. Lower the back foot down, pull down dog. Settle in, feel the difference. To come out of this one, we're going backwards this time, bending the knees, pressing yourself back with the hands, walking your way back toward the feet. Take a breath in here, find your flat back. Fold forward to release. Full breath in, arms sweep as you rise. Hands come down toward the heart to release. All right, our other side. This time your right foot will step forward. Left foot steps back. So the knee is centered with the angle. Back leg is straight, but at a bit of an angle here. You're making sure that you can see the big toe just on the inside of the knee. Arms reach out beside you and shoulder looking over the front fingertips. Slowing down the breath. Last moment here. Lowering the back hand, you'll flip the right palm to reverse, big breath in. Extended side angle, again taking your option, the elbow can go to the top of the thigh, hand can come down to that block or whatever item you're using, or if you want to take it further, hand comes down toward the mat, shoulders turn toward the wall, top arm reaches. Find the spot that feels nice for the neck, either looking toward the foot, the wall, or up at the top hand. Full breath here. Good work. All right, pivoting, lifting the back heel, plank pose. Next stays long. This time your right leg's going over the left. One chaturanga or tricep push-up. Straightening the arms, reaching the right leg up and back. Three-legged dog. Foot lowers down, pull down dog. Full breath here. I'm finding your way to the top of the mat. Walking or hopping the feet to meet the hands. Taking a full breath in. Folding forward to release. 
and the arms sweep as you rise. Rolling yourself open, looking up, hands coming down toward the arm. All right, so from here, let's do a pyramid pose. This is a really nice hamstring stretch. You can use those two books, your blocks, or a chair if you need some extra support. We're going to stay with the left foot being in front first. The left foot will stay forward, right foot steps back. In this one, your shoulders and your hips are facing more forward instead of turning toward the side of the room. So we want the hips, the shoulders facing the front of the mat. Start by giving yourself just a little bit of a bend to the knee. Roll your torso forward, hands find the blocks, the chair, the support, whatever you're using today. And from here, front leg straightens. You have the option of staying with your pelvis, your torso more level with the mat, or you can lower down, let the head release, look back toward the back leg. Feeling the back of the body lengthen, both legs stay active. Smooth, easy breathing. Last one here. Lengthen the spine. A little bit of a bend to the front knee. Keep pressing through the back leg. Hands come to the hips. Shoulders pull back. Step the feet together. Take your breath in. Sweep both arms up. Interlace the fingers, tilting over toward the left, rolling the right shoulder open, looking underneath the arm, stretching through the side of the waist. Slowly bring yourself up, hands release down. All right, we'll come into the other side this time. Right foot stays forward, left foot steps back. Again, making sure that your shoulders and your hips are staying more forward instead of opening up to the side like what we did earlier. And the feet are also a little bit closer together on this one, bending the front knee and making sure that you have pressure in that back leg, rolling your pelvis forward over the top of the thigh, hands find the blocks, the height that you need today, and then the front leg will begin to straighten for pyramid pose. So you have the option here, keeping the back level and looking toward the front foot. If you want to release the back more fully letting the torso release over the top of the right thigh, looking toward the back leg. Allowing the breathing to remain smooth and steady. Letting the back of the neck soften. Keep pressing through the back foot, last breath here. A slight bend to the front knee. Keep pressing through the left leg as the hands come to the hips, shoulders pull back. Step the feet together, full breath in, arms sweep up. Interlacing the fingers, this time tilting over toward the right, rolling the left shoulder open to get that stretch through the side of the waist. Keep pressure in both feet. Shoulders upright, hands really down. Full flow here, smooth breath in, arms sweep up. Exhale to fold, arms sweep back as you lower down. Take a breath in, find your flat back. Step one foot back and the other to move through your vinyasa, your flow. Plank, chaturanga all the way down. Tops the feet in your back. Downward facing dog, toes curl, hips lift up and back. Taking three breaths here. Noticing the difference from when you began. What areas feel stronger? What areas feel longer? Shift forward, lower the knees down to the mat. Bring the knees wide, big toes come together, child's pose to soften back. Bring the forehead soften down. Taking this time to be here in this moment. Coming forward, we'll find our 
way to a seated position from here. Legs will reach forward. Arms will reach for the foot. If you aren't able to find your way to the foot, you can also be here. Either reaching the inside of the right knee away from your body. Lengthening through both sides of the waist, the shoulders stay level with the mat. side this time your left knee bends comes out to the side but it doesn't have to be right up against the leg you can find a position that feels comfortable for the knee in the support if you need it torso turns toward the straight leg hands reach toward the straight leg hold on to the foot if you're able to reach it reaching the heel away from the body drawing the top of the foot back the shoulders, the elbows soften toward the mat. Keeping the breathing smooth and long. Ease yourself up right from here. One more forward fold. Reach both legs forward. Take a breath in. Sweep the arms up. Fold forward to release. Notice the difference. Observe the feelings in the body. Here, walk your shoulders upright. We'll bend the knees and come on to the back. Start winding down. Slide my out of the way so I can meet you there. Bending the knees in toward the chest. Finding the space where you can let your low back lay flat on the mat, the shoulders, the back of the head, soften down. We'll keep the right knee in, straighten the left leg so the heel rests on the mat. The shoulders soften, feeling this opening through the front of the left thigh. Twisting from here, left hand will hold onto the front of the knee, right hand comes out beside you, bringing the leg across. You can use that hand to support the leg as you twist, you're rolling onto the outside of the left hip, the left foot. You're looking toward the wall or turning to look over the right hand. So the shoulders soften down. Breath moves smoothly through the torso. back to center, hug both knees in toward the body, you reach the legs long, arms reach overhead, full body stretch, letting the low back arch, back of the head stays light. Twist into the other side from here, bringing the left knee in, keeping the right leg straight, feeling this opening through the front of the right hip. Shoulders stay soft. Right hand rests on the front of the knee. Left hand comes out beside you, bringing the leg across. Rolling onto the outside of the right hip, shoulders stay open toward the ceiling. Either looking toward the ceiling or turning to look over the left hand. both knees in toward the body one more time. Reaching the legs long, arms reach overhead, full body stretch. From here we'll settle into our final Shavasana, our last pose for the class. 
typically that means that you're laying flat on your mat with your legs rolling out, arms out wide beside you, palms turn up. If this is uncomfortable on your shoulders, you can let your hands rest on the front of your hips. And if this is uncomfortable on your low back, you can also rest here with the knees bent so the low back can be more flat on that. Find the position that works for you. Let the eyes close down. From here, I'll talk you through a brief Shavasana, a brief relaxation for the mind and for the body. Taking the position that works for you. Allowing yourself to be present and free of judgment. Feel how the surface of the body is able to become soft and light. Feel how the air is able to slide under the surface of the ribs as you breathe in. How it dissipates and releases as you exhale. space within the center of the chest soften and sink toward the spine. Freeing up room for the air to flow in even as you breathe. Feel the back of the hips and the legs soften and slide toward the ground. Give yourself permission to be here in this moment. Taking each breath in as its own moment in time. And each breath out as its own unique moment. position feels nice to you today. Letting the eyes stay softly closed. And feeling this different difference that you've achieved for yourself in your mind and in the body. Bringing the palms to touch in front of you. Taking a full breath in here, feel the chest expand and lift. To 
Allow the chin to nod down, the shoulders release as you exhale. Thank you so much for letting me be a part of your practice today. For trusting yourself in this moment and giving yourself this time. Namaste.